Reading more is a common New Year's resolution, and while that's great for adults, don't forget that reading to your child can have huge benefits throughout their lives. Child development expert and founder of Building All Children, Kendra Morgan, here to show us some great reads for kids of all ages, answer some questions. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so let's get into it. Why yeah. is reading important? Let's just start real Ooh. basic. Well, it's really one of the greatest things you can do for your children. And so there are so many benefits. Um, one, it's connection time, having them sit on your lap and just slowing down and connecting with them. It's allowing their brains to kind of focus and be still. Um, get in to language and words and cognitive and neurons and patterns and I mean there's so many benefits and really research shows the more they read the more they hear the better reader they will be and so it's it comes from the parents the families have to be the ones to get the child into books the value of books um, so that they'll be ready for education when they're ready to go I know a lot of parents out there are looking at the sleep one helps with sleep. It I like does that. Help with sleep. You're right. There's a way to read to children too to keep them engaged in learning. Kind of what are your guidelines for keeping them engaged? Yeah. So I think there has the book has to be interesting. We love books with a plot. A book should um, we call it the story arc. We want it to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. If you're reading kind of boring books, they aren't going to stay focused. Mm -hmm. And then as a reader, you don't have to be a fantastic reader to read kid books. I tell parents all the time that I struggle with reading. The more they read, the better reader they will become too. That's so true. Yes, but the more you can be part of the character and change your voice and go high and go low, um, kids love it. I was just reading to the kids last night and it's just, it's amazing when they lock in, nothing can distract them that from that right. book. It's just so great. So before we get to the books, we're going to talk about these specifically. Sure. Let's set the table. Uh, how to make your home a uh, habitual place of reading, how to yeah. make it a habit? No, I think that's a great question. So what we know about the home is most people have a place that they put books and that's really only where the books are. We want you to have books in every room. So get a basket, get a pile of books, put them in the kitchen, in the bathroom. While you're putting on your makeup, have books right next to you so they can sit and look at books while they're talking to you. I mean, just have books throughout the house. Um, one of our child development specialists, Andy, she always talks about when you have a, a book on shelves, to face the books out so as the kids walk by it it catches their attention and they'll tend to pull it off the shelf if they can see the front of the book so just have books everywhere it, have them in your car have them just have them in your bag have them in your purse have them everywhere so that they are exposed to them all the time and eventually they'll be reading just by themselves so yeah. let's start off with the littles to our older kids you brought yeah. some books for us let's yeah. start off with this one so obviously the littles we like um, board books we want them to be able to turn the pages and have a little bit of independency once they are setting up on their own what we like about this book is when you open it up and um, it's a peekaboo so the kids have to open up little things and be invested and look inside it and um, peekaboo also is a developmental milestone it works on separation anxiety so there's so many emotions you can teach through books and so the little ones just need to read 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 I mean and we encourage you to start really while they're in your room but day one start reading to them okay we're moving up to the next yeah. level up here so we've got the peekaboo books for the babies yeah so this, this is another, it's still a board book. It's a great book. Um, it's about um, what are my feelings. So it's starting to introduce all the emotions that we have and all of the feelings that we have. We all have the same feelings. It's just what do we do with them? Um, and so it's just allowing them to see themselves in the books and know that they have the same emotion that the book is talking about. I want to stick with the emotion theme. Okay. And on this one over here, a little spot of feelings yeah. box set is yes. what this. I love box sets. Yes. Let's do it. Okay. So we love um, the spot of feelings. It kind of covers everything from being shy to being a worrier to being anxious to being mad. Um, and it's important to let the children read the books and talk about how they've been mad before and how you've been mad before and how there's been times that you've been shy. So you're getting them involved in the book because they become the character. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's talking them through those emotions and they once they can relate themselves to the book, they'll stay focused longer for you. I love that. Okay, you had one more thing, if we have some time, about mirrors and sliding doors. Explain this. I, this is very yeah. interesting. So, um, Building Readers really works with our children, and they try to teach them that um, when you're reading a book, a child should be able to see it as a mirror. They should see themselves as a character mm -hmm. so that they can have something to relate to. But then we want them to be creative and look out the window and see a different world. But then we also want them to be a door and actually step into another world and let their imagination go. Um, so it's mirror windows and doors and we want them to just be exposed to as many words and stories that they can be exposed to. 
Kendra Morgan with Building All Children. Thank you so much for bringing all these in. There's so much more. You can always pop onto Building All Children's website, their Facebook, a lot of great resources. Thank you for yes, coming in. Thank you.